Sometimes it's hard to believe how easily our perception can be altered and how fiction can become reality. Could life on planet Earth just be one giant illusion? The line between what's real and what's not gets blurred a lot easier than you would think. From seeing images that aren't even there to classic illusions seen more often than you'd think. Here are optical illusions that will blow your mind. Let us know in the comment section which illusion you think is the craziest and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 16. Faces or vases. Do you see faces or the vases? This is also what's known as the Rubens vase, which was created by a Danish psychologist, Edgar Rubin. It's a pretty ambiguous picture, but most people will report seeing the faces first. Number 15. The rotating rings. Take a close look at the dot in the middle of this photo for a few seconds. Go ahead, we dare you. Now take your focus off the middle and just look at it. Does it appear that the rings around the circle are rotating around in different directions? Don't let your mind fool you, because they're not. It's just an illusion and we got plenty more where that came from. Number 14. The Herman Grid Sometimes what goes on inside of our head is difficult to explain, and your brain can take little shortcuts to help make things easier. This visual illusion plays tricks on your brain's ability to determine color in an automatic process in our brain known as lateral inhibition. This helps us pick up the edges of different colors. The Herman grid was discovered by Ludemar Herman, which helps us see how colors can get blended, especially with a dark background. Take a direct look at one of the gray blobs and it'll disappear. This is kind of why most websites out there tend to have white backgrounds with dark coloring so they won't play too many tricks on our eyes. Number 13, the Blivet. One of the most perplexing optical illusions out there was discovered in 1892. This geometrical formation is actually impossible. It consists of two rectangular prongs, but with circular features at the end. Trying to figure it out for too long might make your head explode. Also known as the impossible trident, the impossible fork, or the devil's tuning fork, it was used by the famous illusionist M.C. Escher to create impossible 3D images. They gained quite a bit of popularity in comic books and in abstract paintings. Number 12. The Monster Illusion So which monster in this photo do you think is bigger? Surely it has to be the massive monster in the background, right? Well, they're actually about the same size. We could assume that the monster in the background would be much bigger if this was real life due to comparing the amount of separation between the ceiling and the monster's head. The truth is that your brain automatically assumes that the distance would compensate for how large they truly are. Number 11. The Fraser Spiral Illusion This optical illusion was first thought up by the British psychologist James Fraser in 1908. This is what's known as a false spiral or by the original name, the twisted cord illusion. What appears to look very much like a spiral is actually a group of concentric circles overlapping. What seems to throw off most people is that they reproduce a regular line pattern but with misaligned parts or the checkered background. It might take you a little bit longer to figure out that this one is a false spiral, but we assure you that it is. Number 10. The Scintillating Grid Another variety of the Herman Grid we saw earlier, this one we see here is just a little bit crazier. The black dots seem to move around a lot quicker, and not all the lines are straight. This was discovered by E. Lingelbach in 1994, and technically a variation of the grid we saw earlier. The white disks in the intersection seem to cause the black dots to move more randomly and more unpredictably, whereas the Herman grid, the dots move slower, and the dots occur in isolated intersections. Which grid do you think is the most confusing? Number 9. The Zollner Illusion the Zollner illusion tricks our minds by putting other lines in different directions and they might make you think the lines aren't parallel, but really, they are. This illusion was discovered in 1860 when Zollner sent a letter to another scholar who was left fairly perplexed. The shorter lines on the bigger lines will skew your mind into thinking the lines are stretching into a different direction. If you don't believe us, go ahead and grab your ruler. It just shows how easy your perception can be tricked. Number 8. After Images after images are images that appear once you stare at them for 20 to 60 seconds. Then, when you take a look at a blank white space, another image will appear, except only in different colors. For example, take a look at this American flag. It looks like the right design, except for the fact that all the colors are different. However, if you're able to try to stare at this for 20 to 60 seconds, then hold a piece of blank white paper in front of your face, you might see the after images with old glory red, white, and blue. 
Colors like yellow will produce an after image of blue, black will become white, and the green will become red. The exact mechanism that's known for this is unknown. Some researchers believe that this is what's known as a contrast effect, where exposure to stimuli will have an impact on the next stimuli you're exposed to. Number 7. The Titchener Illusion This next one relates to size, its surrounding, and your perception. Take a look at the circles here in this photo and tell us which orange circle looks bigger to you. You probably wouldn't believe that the orange circle on the right side is actually the same size as the orange circle on the left, but actually, they're both the same size. This illusion became popular by the English writer Edward B. Titchener in the early 1900s, and to this day, it's still confusing people. Another critical factor in making the orange circle on the right look bigger is the distance of the blue circles from the orange circle in the middle. Distance, as you've noticed, becomes a factor your mind uses in order to determine size of an object. Number 6. Leaning Tower This next trippy illusion seems to make you think the leaning tower on the right side is leaning more to the right, while the other one isn't leaning quite as much. But truth be told, they are both leaning exactly the same amount because they are the same photo. Once again, it's all just inside your head, and this will happen with the Cirrus Tower, Eiffel Tower, or whatever tower you choose. While the leaning tower does actually lean, your brain wants to create something different from the two images you see at the same time. Number 5. The Wonder Block Another image of an impossible object. Another image of an impossible object, the two mysterious blocks are either lying side by side or stacked up on top of each other. Just depends what side you look at. Is this even a real block or did MC Escher 3D animate something? Number 4. Rotating Squares here in this next illusion, we see 12 different squares, with each one being checkered with yellow and purple designs. As you begin to scan up and down and back and forth, you may begin to notice how some of the squares seem to appear as though they're moving in some fashion. The squares in your peripheral vision seem to be moving the most, but then when you take a look at that square, it stops moving. Did the square just seem to come alive when you weren't focusing on it, or what's going on here? Our brain tends to pick up on stimuli that may be important later on and tries to fill in the gaps. It's not always easy for our brains to combine all the information we're given, so sometimes it will try to fill in the gaps and make it easier for us to understand, even though it's not always true. Number 3. Static Motion No special effects on this next one, guys. It's just your brain playing tricks on you again. The image is not a GIF, but certainly seems like it's moving nonetheless. The dozens of blue ovals are created in a similar fashion an old animation film would be, with each one being in a different stage of moving. The different shapes, sizes, distances, and colors all give you the illusion that something is actually moving. Artists might tend to enhance some of their works by creating static motion in order to give it a little bit more life. Number 2. Cafe Illusion This famous optical illusion might make you assume that all the lines are pointing at an angle, when actually, all of them are still parallel. It seems as though someone has shifted the checkerboard so that the black and white squares aren't lining up anymore in a wavy fashion. The reason it gets the name of Cafe Illusion is because it was found on a wall at a cafe, but researchers noticed its illusional appearance and took note. Would it give you a headache if someone put an optical illusion on their wall? And number one, more static motion. This illusion we see in this photo is another example of static motion. The longer you seem to stare at it, the more it starts to do a wave. Not just that though, it also seems as though the larger the image is, the more wavy it will start to behave. For men who tend to use more tunnel vision, as compared to women who use their peripheral vision more often, this could be more powerful for the guys. There have actually been studies done to prove that women have better peripheral vision, and an image like this wasn't quite as wavy for them. Some believe this was an evolutionary trait that helped women find fruits and berries to pick, while men could target onto their prey with their tunnel vision. 